Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, April 19th. This is for all signs. I tried doing it with a different deck, and that's, I'm telling you what, there's something wrong with that deck. I can't do that deck. This is much better. There's been a lack of success in one arena that, you know, somebody has been not making much progress, staying stuck in a situation. Maybe they've lost some of their self-respect. Maybe it's self-respect. I don't know. <laughs> you may be taken, being taken advantage of. Maybe somebody's taking advantage of you or you feel like you're going to be, you fear being taken advantage of. It feels like you may, you may be feeling restless and unable to move forward because of I don't know why fear fear is holding you back hmm. it's time to come out of this darkness and bring stability and security back to your life okay so something has been happening that has been stalling your progress and it's time for you to be the boss and take the lead and move forward okay it's time for you to stop feeling insecure and stand up for yourself, seriously. Go after what you want. Wow. No, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, twice. Son of a gun. There's been a lot of instability here. Somebody is very unstable, insecure, unhappy with where they're at, afraid, afraid to, to move on, afraid to take a leap, holding on to something that doesn't serve them because they, they have this fear of change. They have this, they don't want to struggle through this. So insecurities are holding them back. It's really time for you to face your fears, see the light. It's time for you to do the practical thing. There's a lack of self-esteem here. Somebody lacks enough self-esteem to move forward. This is lack of self-esteem. This is stability and security, both of them. Somebody needs to head down a more stable, secure path. But they're not, they're not, they're not letting themselves. There's like, there's no opportunity. There's nothing solid here because there's a lack of faith. Somebody is afraid to take a risk. They don't, you know, they're sitting in limbo. They don't want to face the struggle. I don't want to look at things through new eyes. Somebody is resisting a change. And, and really, I consider this a victim mentality. I'm a victim here. I'm a victim. It's time for you to come out of this darkness and struggle through whatever it is that's holding you back. It's time to let go with the hangman. It is time to let go of your insecurities and your fears. There's things of, you know, it's time to make some compromises, right? It is. You may have to let go of something to get something better. There's been a feeling there. There's been a, I don't know if it's a feeling, but there's been some unfairness here. And I feel like somebody absolutely is using that as a crutch. I've been treated unfairly. I can't move forward. This is not my fault. This is all your fault. You know, somebody is holding on to that. Oh, God, what's the word? Victim. You know, I'm a victim here and trying to come up with the with the reasons, excuse, excuse. They're holding on to that excuse is why they can't move forward. 
You know, really, the, in reality, what has happened here is they've lost their faith. So there's there's no 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 new beginning here that leads to anything solid because somebody's afraid to take the next step. They lack the self confidence and the self esteem and the self worth to take the next step to find something solid. But you're calling you're being called to find your security that's been lost. You know because there's insecurity here. Find that shit. Find it so that you can find something solid. Find your self-esteem, find your self-worth so that you can make progress. If you keep stalling and if you're afraid to take the next step, you can't expect the universe to do all the work. You're going to have to make some compromises. You're going to have to cooperate with the universe. You're going to have to cooperate probably with somebody else to move forward. I feel like there's a lot of... Uh, disorganization in your life and there's a lot of excuses I see excuses here I can't move forward because I've been treated unfairly they don't want to be held accountable when in all reality you're the one that doesn't want to be held accountable either somebody don't want to be held accountable You know, and I feel like what's going on here is ma there's manipulation, there's control. But whoever you're dealing with can see right through it, so you might as well just quit. And that could be you. You could be dealing with another person and you can see right through it. You can see right through the bullshit. Somebody's trying to manipulate a situation and they're playing the victim to get what they want. And they're playing the victim because... Of fear. They don't have any self-esteem. They don't have any self-confidence. Fear is their ruler. So they, they use any excuse that they can find. So that they don't have to make a change. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to do the responsible thing. It's time to do the practical thing. A lot of this has, this could have to do with a job, this could have to do with a partnership, whatever, but I think a lot of this probably has to do with, it definitely has to do with security. There's nothing solid on the table at this point. There's nothing solid. Because somebody is playing the victim, not doing their part, not wanting to own up to it. And lacks the self-confidence and the self-worth and the self-esteem to move forward, to take a step in the right direction. Yeah, they're stalling. Somebody is absolutely stalling. Ego could be in the way. You have to make, so there's some compromises that need to be made today. Or tomorrow or whatever. But we do have the tower, which is wonderful because the tower brings in blessings in disguise when somebody is stalling and they don't want to move forward because they have all this fear. The tower don't care about your fear. The tower actually wants you to, to look at that fear. They want you to face your fear. And somebody is living in fear. Fear of change. There's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for rebirth. There's an opportunity for renewal and wish fulfillment. After the tower comes out and force somebody, forces somebody to make a move, because until this tower moment, somebody probably isn't going to make a move, because I see that the stop, what stalling is going on. There's a lot of fear of change here. This is karma. Somebody doesn't want to pay their karmic, karmic debt at this time.
there's a loss of concentration there's a loss of focus somebody has given up on given up on making the right moves letting their insecurities hold them back and the universe is here to renew it to renew their soul to 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 get them make them feel alive again okay that's what's going on here that i believe that there is going to be some sort of upheaval that forces a change that you can't deny even though you might still want to deny it it may make you angry that you are forced to go through this but this will lead to rebirth and renewal Because wherever you're at right now, you deserve more and you're not getting what you deserve. And instead of crying about it and being overly emotional about it, you have to do something about it. Whatever is happening may make you feel a little overwhelmed. And there's definitely a victim mentality here in which it's not doing anything for you. It's not. You're being called to be your own advocate. It's a time to grow. It's time to find to fulfill your wishes. And if you are going to just stay stagnant and, and insecure and not make any progress and lose and not have any faith but still want your wishes to be fulfilled, well, come on now. You have you can't you have to work and cooperate with the universe and your wishes. You do. I mean, you have to cooperate. You have, it takes, you know, they aren't going to do all the work. You, you have to do some work too. Okay? So I feel like somebody has lost their ambition to put effort into a situation, although they want the stars and the moon and the payoff. And I feel like the universe is here to push you through it, whether you like it or not, and it may not make you happy. Change is on the horizon. Rebirth and uh, renewal is right around the corner. It's time to take the next step, and somebody hasn't. Somebody has been lacking so much balance with a temperance card, this card, and the justice card reversed, somebody has been lacking so much balance in their lives that things are totally disorganized and out of order. And it's time. It's time to restore that balance. Stop holding on to what doesn't serve you. There's an obsession here that is not necessary somebody is resisting letting go of what doesn't serve them and the universe sees it they do this is a this is a acceptable with the six of pentacles right next to it reverse it's it's not it's not right somebody is not getting what they deserve they're not giving what they should give. And this could work both ways. They're not putting in the amount that they should be putting in. And the universe sees it. And they're going to cause some sort of upset. That forces somebody to drop something. To let something go. So that they can find their happiness. So I feel like today is a day. Where insecurities come to the surface. whether you like it or not. It's time to start healing. Anyway, so today is a day where insecurities get brought to the surface. That's what I have. This was my third reading. 
my uh, first one, I had 10, 10, 10. The first three cards came out, completion, completion, completion. Then under those tens were three, three, three. So three, 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 threes are about growth. You guys are going through a period of growth right now, even if you don't like it, even if you don't want it. Change is coming. Threes are about growth and change, okay? It's about um, removing all that no longer serves you. And if you don't do it, eventually the universe will step in because they hear your prayers. Threes are your prayers have been heard. They hear your prayers for change, but you're not doing anything about it. And I see that you need to do, you have to, co you have to cooperate. And if you don't cooperate, they have to throw in this upheaval, this breakdown to make you cooperate. You could avoid, in the other one, the tower was reversed. You could avoid this disaster if you would just let, if you would, the, if the Ten of Wands is up here reversed, if you would make the conscious change on your own. If you accept the truth and you make the conscious change, you can avoid the tower moment. You can avoid the help that you don't really want if you take charge and you do what you have to do to let something go. That you know, and, you, and I, in the other one I asked you, do you know what it is that you have to release? You do. You do. If you choose to live in denial, if you choose to play the victim, if you choose to let your insecurities hold you back, something unexpected will happen that is not what you're going to like. You ain't going to like it. But you have the opportunity in the other spread that I did to make the conscious change and avoid the disaster. So it's up to you. If you make the conscious change, there will be no disaster. If you don't, there will be. Because that's how karma works. It's about integrity. You have the opportunity to do the right thing. You know that you have to let something go because that Ten of Wands that was right here reversed told me that you have to let go of something. And I can see all the fear here, fear of letting go, fear of change, lack of confidence, lack of self-worth and self-esteem, whatever. Let it go. Unless you'd like to have it ripped away. Talk to you later.